So, uh, how much time are we talking? A few days? Oh, no, a long weekend should suffice. I re oh, hang on. Yeah. Uh, I realise, you know, that this is difficult for you because I'm effectively running this shop. But I think it'd be very good for the twins to step up to the mark for once. Mind you, having said that, you know, I wouldn't leave Aldi in here on his own too long after that business with the vodka. I see. Now, are you sure that a long weekend's enough? Uh, sorry? I'm just thinking, Mr. Wait, wait, I mean, by the time you get there, you're gonna have to come back. Have you been talking to Arthur? <laughs> no. Well, why are you suggesting that I need more time? Well, it's not like you don't deserve it. Now, come on, you work hard enough. So why not just extend this holiday, make it into a proper road trip? And how long am I extending it by, exactly? Well, you could take the rest of the year off if you wanted. The rest of the... Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. This... This is constructive dismissal. It's what? You are trying to lay me off on the sly and it won't wash. But how can you even think such a oh, thing? Oh, come on. Don't you play the innocent with me, Dev. I know that you've already tried to cut Kathy's hours in the kebab shop and now you're trying to send me to the knacker's yard. Oh, Evelyn, you got this all wrong. Oh, really? Yes. And if you let me finish, I was just trying to explain to you that I just wanted Ali to have a few more hours in the shop, you know, so he can earn his keep. And I just thought that merely he could cover for you. At minimum wage, no doubt. Oh, he doesn't even qualify for that, does he? You are trying to bring slave labour in so you can price me out. Well, it won't work. It won't work because I know me right. Mm -hmm. Fine. In that case, you can't have the time off. What? Well, yeah, you think you're so indispensable to me. Your holiday request is officially denied. Thank you. You're very quiet all of a sudden for somebody who's going to come with me and protect me. Well, I'm disappointed. In fact, I'm half persuaded to go around there and give him a piece of my mind. Ooh, I cut Sir Lancelot go to corner shop on his big white charger. <laughs> No, sorry, sorry. I think that was a very nice thought, Arthur. And, and believe me, you're not the only one who's disappointed. Why, you really wanted to go? Well, of course I wanted to go. Why would I have suggested it otherwise? Oh, well, maybe you should jack your job in. I shall do no such thing. We need that money, we depend on it. Well, that's what I'm on about. I was one that forced you to get the job in the first place. I don't want you missing out on holidays like this. Yeah, Ty's right. And for all we know, this might be your last chance. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm going to pop me clogs, am I? No, I'm sure nobody meant that. Look, capitalist bully boys like Dev Allahan, they need to be brought to account. And if it means that I lose a holiday I've been looking forward to, well, so be it. Oh, here he is. Hey, everybody, hold on to your kids because he'll have them press ganged for early work. Here we go. Here we go. I should have known that you'd be here spreading your lies about me. Excuse me. I don't think you should be talking about her like that. Yeah, well, you would say that, though, wouldn't you, mate? But if it wasn't for you trying to have your wicked way with her, I wouldn't be in this mess. Right. That's it. Outside. Excuse me? You heard. Now, listen up, Grandpa. I've no idea what kind of rubbish she's been filling your head with, but if anyone's the aggrieved party around here, it's me. Oh, Grandpa, is it? I'll show you. Grandpa! Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing? Pack it in, the pair of you. Look, I will not have him casting aspersions on you in public. I'm casting aspersions? Who's casting aspersions? You! Quiet! Are you out your mind? Look at him. If he was to push you, you could fall down and break your hip. I'm not that flipping old. Anyway, would have been worth it. Would it? Really? Yeah. Right. Well, in that case, you can shove your job. What? I said I will not be working for you anymore. Uh, no, let's not be too hasty. I, I've made up my mind. I'm going off on a nice caravan in holiday, and that's it. Are you sure? What, are you trying to make me change my mind again? No, 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 no heaven forbid. Oh, no, come on, you guys. Listen, I know this would be some harsh words here. Listen, my apologies, mate, but the uh, last thing I wanted you to do was make you quit. Oh, I haven't quit. I thought you just said you... No, 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 no. I'm going to accept your earlier offer of um, redundancy. There's a subtle difference. You'll be hearing from me shortly about terms, just as soon as I've typed up my severance package. You what? Come on, then. We've got holiday to plan in Norfolk. Get them drinks over here. Come on, Sir Lancelot. 